Hello and welcome. I am returning to the Sherwood, a game uh, of the Norman Saga series released by the French company Historicon. It is a tactical scale medieval uh, age uh, combat game. And today I am going to play a scenario third named Saving Rebecca. This is a scenario which is loosely based upon the Ivanhoe novel written by Sir Walter Scott. And in this scenario, <coughs> We have a Matt Templar, Brian the Booth Gilbert, who fell in love with a Jewish girl, Rebecca, and he kidnapped her along with her father, Isaac, and he holds them captive. And <coughs> a Saxon knight, Ivanhoe, uh, who was helped by Rebecca before, and she's probably in love with him, uh, wants to help her. He, he calls for help uh, Loxley, which we are all known as Robin Hood, and uh, together with him, uh, they arrive to help Rebecca. Does, that's the story uh, told in this scenario. This is not very much according to the novel, because in the novel, Rebecca was uh, kidnapped by Brian. She was to take. She was taken uh, to the Templar's castle and. Uh, she was accused of witchcraft and uh, they were about to uh, burn her, but she called for the uh, duel with uh, her champion against Brian. And Ivanhoe, despite being wounded, came and fought against Brian and after a, uh, a bloody duel, Brian was dead. So that was the real story. and. Uh, here we have a scenario for uh, cr uh, for this game, which is also pretty interesting, I think. And it is uh, the first scenario in this game, which is about to introduce a mounted unit. So we have to uh, take care about them. And maybe I should tell a bit about these units and the scenario, which is quite big because it covers three boards. So it's definitely bigger than the previous uh, two previous ones that were only played on the one board. And <clears throat> let's start with the mounted units. Uh, when it comes to the mounted units, uh, each uh, cavalryman has two, uh, you, uh, two counters uh, for him uh, when he's on the horse. For example, here we have Ivanhoe. Here he is with, with his full strength, and he's, here he is with his wounded side. Uh, also, he has two counters of him as a leg unit, because if he will be, uh, there is possibility that he will leave his horse willingly, or he'll, he will fall fell from his horse during the combat. On the other side, we have horse. You can see there are two versions. Here we have a living horse and here we have a dead horse. Because you can simply walk down of your horse and uh, you can still uh, walk on and you, you can uh, keep your horse alive and you can also lead your horse, I will tell about it later, or your horse can be killed. Any character which has C uh, here can mount any horse. So for example, Let's say that here we have uh, this horse left by Ivanhoe, and um, let me find... Oh, here we have a Robin Hood. You can see that he has also a C, so he can approach this, this horse and he can ride on this horse and then it will be replaced with Robin Hood mounted counter. But only units that are, mount, that are marked as C can mount horses. Any other leg units might only leave lead horses because horse without uh, horsemen is, is is not moving but if it is approached by another leg uh, uh, leg uh, soldier uh, he can make uh, the horse follow him so he can move like that etc etc next uh, horse uh, mounted uh, men are limited when it comes to their movement. They have quite an impressive uh, movement allowance, yeah, they have 12, and <coughs> light cavalrymen have even 15, so that's pretty good, but they cannot move on the hexes with trees, they cannot 
enter buildings. So you can see uh, there, there are spaces when, where they cannot go. <clears throat> so if they want to go inside the building, they have to walk down their horse. It is possible. If you are st starting your movement phase, and you decide to, to dismount, you simply declare that, you spend all your movement points, and then you place your leg counter next to your horse. You have to take your horse counter, and voila, here we are, you are dismounted. Uh, in the same way, you can mount. If you, are start, start, if you are starting your movement next to your horse, you can t say that you want to mount, and then you are mounted again. <laughs> A funny thing is that you can jump onto your horse. If you have a horse which is adjacent to the tree and your man is, let's say, up the tree, let me take Robin Hood, who is a horseman, then he can make a jump and if he will succeed, he can jump on the horse and voila, he's riding the horse away. <laughs> That's pretty interesting uh, option. <clears throat> and I think that's uh, most of the stuff uh, when it comes to the horse. Oh, maybe about movement. You can see that each mounted unit has this triangle which shows the direction. You only pay uh, for the uh, first hex of your movement. So for example, if you are moving like that, uh, you have to spend your movement points. Let me check how many. You have to spend four because you are entering scrap, eight because he's uh, on the scrap, and nine because, because he's no longer on the scrap. So you pay only for the first hex you are entering. The other hex is mostly to show that this uh, unit is definitely bigger, because as you probably remember, <coughs> each hex covers about two meters of space in this game, so uh, to show that horse is bigger, uh, it covers two hexes. Also, one more important thing about horsemen is <coughs> that when they are fighting, they use their own uh, special uh, combat uh, table, and every time you are fighting against mounted units, you are using this column. Also, another important thing, if you have your leg units fighting against mounted unit, even if you have two units, you don't get this uh, column shift for two versus one. You get it only if you have two mounted units against one. If you have leg units only, nothing happens. So, <clears throat> I think that's all when it comes uh, to the uh, mounted units. Well, you can be dismounted because of the combat results. There are situation, situations when a horse, are, horse can be killed or, so, uh, or your man can be simply <coughs> thrown uh, from the horse because of the enemy's attack. Uh, maybe I will be able to show you this during the combat, but that's all when it comes to the introduction. Now let's talk about scenario. Here we have Brian and his men. They are setting up on, the, on, the, on these two boards. Isaac and Rebecca are held in this, uh, it is called Warhouse. And how to win this scenario and how about special rules? We have only one special rule saying neither Rebecca nor Isaac can attack the Normans. So they cannot attack any of their captures. But when it comes to the uh, victory conditions, Ivanhoe and his friends win if Rebecca and Isaac manage to leave the map uh, by one or more sides of their choice. So, to win the game, Ivanhoe and his friends have to make uh, these two out of this warhouse and then they have to leave the board uh, in any edge of the board they like. Uh, sounds easy? Well, maybe, but you will see it is not that easy. I played this scenario twice and uh, in the f for the first time I managed to win quite easily and for the second time, uh, Brian was uh, definitely victorious. So we will see how it's going to happen this time. And also, 
if Isaac is killed by the Normans, there is a draw. So that's the option for Normans. If they see they can lose the scenario, they can try to kill Isaac and get a draw. And if Rebecca is killed by anyone, then the player that killed her loses the game. So I think that's pretty obvious since both sides want Rebecca alive. Brian, because he loves her, and Ivanhoe, because uh, she saved him before. So that's all when it comes to the uh, uh, scenario special rules. We can start our game. This uh, scenario takes 12 turns to go. Uh, well, I think it should take uh, less. Uh, judging on my own experience, uh, most of these scenarios are about 12 turns long and I usually manage to end them in the, def in the much shorter time. We will see how it's going. Uh, this time, and when it comes to the setup, <coughs> Brian set up in the in this or that board. I think I I decided to set up, set all his units there, and he can set up uh, any of his two units in the buildings, and the other two have to set up outside of the buildings. So they are guarding both uh, door and window from this warehouse. This. Uh, uh, crossbowman is uh, standing in the balcony to have a better view on the enemy. This crossbowman is hiding in the forge and these uh, infantrymen are trying to protect the area while, while Brian and uh, his squire Bartholomew are standing there awaiting the enemies. So, let's go. Uh, we have Robin Hood and Ivanhoe uh, entering the, bo uh, the board tree from any edge. So I decided to uh, split uh, their uh, uh, men into two groups. One is going from the north and one is going from the south. So let's start with the southern group and they are here and they are going to enter from this area. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here goes Little John. And Reynolds is following them, uh, follow, following him, along with Friar Tag and Alvin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or maybe let him be there like that so that's all for this group and they will try to sneak and reach the warehouse from the south south and the biggest group our main force is going to attack from the north so here we have a reynold robin and will scarlet they are all horsemen and will is going to move first so he goes one two three, four, five, six, seven. And he's going to attack Walker, hoping he'll be able to make his way there. We will see. Now, here we have uh, Ivanhoe. His name, uh, he's only, uh, he's written by Wilfred because he's Wilfred of Ivanhoe. And now, what is he going to do? He has an option to attack Brian uh, the Booth Gilbert or Bartholomew or Fulmer. If he will go here, however, he'll be in the perfect target for this crossbowman. So the question is if he wants to. But we have a little, uh, little option. He sees, he sees uh, Brian here and he wants to fight him. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and come on, Brian. By God, I challenge you. And uh, in the meantime, uh, we have a Robin who is also moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and he will try to get uh, get rid of Bartholomew. So our horsemen are going to fight uh, 
against each other. We'll see if they will make it. And in the meantime, I have my two archers there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Gilbert takes his position here. And Falco, he sings Rockne Adeus again. And he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also, I have three peasants, pe peasants there, and they are going one, two, three, four. And they will try to get out of Falmar. So that's all when it comes to Robin Hood and his Merry Men movement. And now I have a several co uh, com combat, <laughs> combats to resolve. Uh, in this game, I mean, in this version of the rules, we have no <coughs> defensive fire for missile units. I found <coughs> that in the advanced uh, version of rules, uh, missile units can fire during the movement, enemy movement, but <coughs> here we play with the standard rules, so it is impossible. And so, uh, let's start with this epic duel between these two sworn enemies, Wilfred of Ivanhoe and Brian de Beauvgilbert. And we have 29 versus 16, so Ivanhoe has plus 13, so it will be column 10, 19 in the uh, combat table, and remember we are using combat against mounted opponents table. And this is 2, okay, this is 2, and in the 10, 9, this is W, so this means that Brian is wounded. Oh, this is no good for this proud Templar. Let me find his wounded marker. Here it goes. You can see he's now definitely weakened. And now Robin tries to fight Bartholomew. You can see that Brian, uh, that Robin is not that good fighter as uh, normal uh, mounted soldiers. He's faster, but <clears throat> he's, uh, well, he's much skilled in uh, his cross, in his bow than in his sword, and he's not also armed. Oh, there is one more important thing I think I forgot to tell you about. Uh, he's archer, yes, but he cannot fire when he's on horse. Uh, if he wants to uh, fire with his bow, he has to dismount. There are no horse archers in this game. These are this is not uh, East uh, with and Mongols uh, or Tatars who are skilled horse archers. No one can fire from the horse now. So we have 15 versus 14, so it's only plus one. Well, this is not going to be easy for Robin. This is six and we are using column of zero four, so this is nothing. So they are both fighting against each other, but no one can, no one can gain advantage. Here, we have 14 versus 7, so this is plus 7, so it's 5-9. Well, let's see if Will will make it. Mm, I believe no. 8, this is nothing. Oh, poor Will. And now these three uh, peasants are trying to uh, get rid of this uh, armored uh, soldier. They have 8, 14 and 21 versus 7. So this is 14. So this is going to be uh, 10, 19. And because there is 3 versus 1, so we get plus 1. So it's 20, 29. Hmm. I think they have a solid chance to hit him hard. 2. Oh, he's killed. You, Fomar, you are dead. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, yes, uh, he was in the scrap, and scrap provides some protection against missile combat, but it provides no protection during the hand-to-hand -hand combat. So you are dead, and now they can make advance after combat. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Okay, so that's all for this 
this tree, they made it quite nicely, and that's all when it comes to the Robins men. And now <clears throat> time for the sh from the Brian's men uh, to shine. So, what are they going to do? First, we have a missile uh, uh, combat phase, and now Baldrick. Mm, I think that Baldrick cannot see anyone. I mean, he can see uh, Ivan Ho, but. Uh, Bartholomew is blocking his uh, line of sight, so he cannot fire. And he cannot fire to Garulf because Brian is blocking his line of sight, so that's bad. And now Rudolf. Uh, Rudolf, uh, from the other hand, is on the balcony. Import uh, remember about it because it's pretty important. If he would be down on, the, on, on, the, on Earth, then he wouldn't be able to fire because he would have these two guys next to him. But in fact, they are uh, they are uh, one f one level below him because he's on the balcony, so he's not adjacent to them, and he, this means that he can fire, and he he can fire at them or at Ivanhoe or Robin, but he wants to fire at any of these archers, finding them as the bigger threat, so he wants to fire at Gilbert, and <clears throat> now let's see if he can. Oh, he missed terribly, and and now he cannot move because uh, uh, crossbowmen that uh, uh, fire uh, cannot move during his movement phase. Okay, so let's go to the Brian's movement phase. And now Brian and uh, Bartholomew are fighting against these guys, but Brian is having a hard time. He is wounded. Uh, so his fight with uh, Wilfred won't be easy. He hopes he will make it somehow, and uh, he tells his men to help Bartholomew. So Aldrich runs and tries to de uh, to uh, catch Robin. And, and now let's get south a bit. I think they can hear that someone is moving uh, from the other side of the forge and uh, this means that they want uh, to check what the hell is going under. So Walmer moves here. He will he's not going to uh, check uh, to move there because he feels that there can be so many of the enemies uh, more than he, he can handle, uh, but he wants to uh, cover this area. And Wilbrand one, two, three, four. Notice that since he's an uh, uh, armored uh, soldier, he has a movement of six, not eight, like all these light armored soldiers. And now Baldric. Well, uh, I think he's going to move since he cannot. He hasn't anyone in his uh, line of sight. So one, two, three, four, five. Here he should fight and maybe even six, he hopes he will find some targets for his crossbow. All right, so I think that's all when it comes to the uh, uh, Brian's men movement. And now let's go to combat. Now, Odric and Bartholomew are attacking Robin Hood. They have tw 12 and 21, so it's 33. 33 versus two, 10, it's 23. But as you probably remember, we have mounted and leg men against mounted soldier. This means that they don't get modifier for two versus one because we have uh, only one mounted versus one mounted. If we if we would have two mounted units versus Robin, then they would get plus one shift. So there is still uh, uh, 30, 30, 33 versus 10, so it's 23. So we will use column 2029. Still, Robin might be in troubles. Or not. Nine. And 2029, nothing. Oh, it looks like Robin is uh, uh, fast enough to avoid any hits uh, taken from them. He smiles and uh, runs his horse around them uh, and they fail to score any hit on them. Well, on him, that's bad. Now, Brian. Brian, uh, 
Brian might attack Ivanhoe or uh, Garulf. And uh, well, definitely Garulf is more uh, juicy target because he has only defense of 4, while Ivanhoe has defense of 17. But from the other hand, uh, hitting uh, Ivanhoe might be much more beneficial. So the choice is hard. I think he will try to attack Garulf anyway. So he has 18 versus 4, so it's plus 14. Oh, seven. Uh, this is a oh, one. So Garulf has to retreat, and I think he cannot. Well, one, two. I believe he can. I am not 100% certain about uh, this, but I believe this is possible because the rule says that you can retreat through your own units. So I believe he can do this. So, Brian might move like that, but he doesn't want to, he wants to block Ivanhoe. And now, Walker. Walker will try to attack Will, and uh, they have 9 versus 9, so it's 0. Oh, let's move camera so you can see everything. So, here we have Walker versus Will, this is 0, and oh, poor Walker, 9 versus... He is wounded. Oh, he's really poor. That was unlucky uh, roll. So this concludes, uh, I think, uh, your time, Walker, because when he is wounded, uh, he will be easier to uh, easy to be killed. And this that's all when it comes to the sheriff uh, to the Brian's men uh, combat. Yeah, that's all. Uh, no one else uh, can attack. So uh, let me check. Uh, we have recover phase now, but no one is stunned. So we can go into turn two. Okay, we are starting with uh, Robin's men, and first of all, they can fire. Uh, we are we have a missile phase, uh, missile missile fire phase. So uh, who is going to fire where? I think Gilbert is going to fire at Rudolph. He hit. Uh, and now, let me check. Yeah, he hit. So now let's see if he uh, managed to damage uh, Rudolf. We have three. Yeah, this is three. And we have uh, at plus two because he's in armor. So this is five. Five, he's wounded. Okay, that's bad for him. Rudolf is wounded. And now Falco. Mm, I wonder if Falco has any targets. I mean, all these uh, guys are covered by his friends, so he cannot fire at anyone. And I wonder if he can see Wilbrand, but I don't think... Uh, let me check. Why I am checking that, you may see, you may ask. Well, because he's an archer, and if you are firing on the <coughs> short range, you cannot fire above your units. But if you are firing on the long range, you can fire ab above your own units. And I believe this is going to be long range. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, definitely a long range. But he is in the cover. So we will have plus two for the long range and plus two for the cover. So we will score a hit only on one or two. Mm, that's going to be pretty hard shot. And nope, this is a miss because zero is 10, remember? Because th that uh, it was a problem for me uh, at the beginning of the game to remember that zero is 10. So this is a miss. And uh, as for the other archer, we have Alvin here. Uh, but he has no targets for his arrows. So I believe that's all. And I think I made a mistake, you know? <laughs> uh, what 
kind of mistake, you may ask? Because I think I forgot about one archer. There should be four archers, and I think there are three archers on, only. Oh no, yes, the, sorry, for, that's correct, this, there is Reynolds here. I forgot about him, but he cannot fire as well, he has no targets. Okay, that's good. So, uh, we ha that, this concludes the missile fire phase, and now we are moving to the uh, leg uh, combat uh, fa uh, phase. So, let's go. I will start here on the south. So, little John, one, two, three, four, five, six. Friar attack, one, two, three, four. Reynolds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Elvin, one, two, three, four, five. So they are going to uh, fight with them, and Reynold will try to sneak behind these three. Okay, so that's all for them. Now here, Will will try to fight with this uh, walker, and I think that <clears throat> Hardwin will try to help him. One, two, three, four, five. Now Simon. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He tries to catch Rudolf, who is dangerous with his bow. So they will try to get out, of, get get rid of them. And uh, Ivan Ho will fight uh, Brian. If if he if he will manage to get uh, get rid of him, it will be good. So, I believe that's all when it comes to the movement. Let's go to the combat. I will start here. We have 14 and 8, so it's 22 versus 9. Sorry, 22 versus 3, versus three. so it's uh, 18. Uh, wait, 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 no. Uh, 22 versus 3 is uh, 19. Okay, it's 19, so it's 10 and 19, and we got plus 1 because 2 versus 1. So it's 2029 and one. He is dead. So they both can do advance after combat. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now Simon tries to get out, get rid of Baldrick. Seven versus six. This uh, this guy is protected by some serious armor. And ten. That's ban that's unlucky. It was uh, seven versus six, so it's one attacker wounded. So sorry, Simon. You failed uh, to hit him with your sight, but looks like he arm he. Uh, Wounded, he wounded you with, with his dagger of, or short sword. I don't know, but it wasn't good. Okay, so next. Uh, Ivan Holt fights uh, Brian. He has 29 versus 10, so it's now 19. So it's 10 19 result. Oh, looks like Brian is in troubles. Four. He is stunned and horse is killed. Okay, so his horse is dead and we have to check for the um, Brian leg counter. And he is now stunned. He's placed anywhere next to his horse. So it looks like Ivan Ho made it. Now Robin, Robin fights versus Odric. He has 15 versus 8, so it's plus 7 and 6. This is R1, so Odric has to retreat one hex. Mm, nothing serious. Robin, of course, might try to move now, but he wants to uh, fight them. He wants to uh, 
tie them with combat and let his men do their job. Now Friar Tuck and Alvin are attacking Walmer. They have 14 versus 6, so it's plus 8, so it's 5, 9, and plus 1, so it's 10, 19, and 7. So he has to retreat one hex. So Friar goes here. And Little John attack Wilbrand. He has 9 versus 7, so it's plus 2. And no, 3 provides no uh, combat advantage. So, oh, looks like Little John is in trouble. Yes, he is wounded. Let me find his wounded marker. It's here. So, looks like Wilbrand managed to hit him anyway. So our plan is somehow working, but not just everything is fine. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, now uh, I have to check if any of the Robin's men are stunned. I think none of them are is stunned. So that's good. And now uh, let's go to the Brian's men. Okay. So first we have uh, to check for uh, missile combat. And now Baldrick cannot fire because he's adjacent to the enemy men. But Rudolf can fire and, he's, and he sees that enemy is approaching him. Oh, and he feels that might be trouble, might be in trouble. So he fires at Garulf, but he is wounded. And when he's wounded, he has plus one to his die roll. And he misses terribly because I think he's too afraid of Garulf approaching him. Uh, so that's bad. Okay, so now uh, that's all when it comes to the missile combat. So let's go to the uh, movement phase. And now, they are still protecting both uh, ways of escape of this warhouse. So I don't think they can move because if they will leave the, their, their positions, then Isaac and Rebecca might try to sneak out and walk away. And something uh, that Brian would like to uh, uh, avoid, even if Brian is currently out of his senses and his horse is dead. Okay, so uh, I will try to get rid of Robin with Eldrick and Bartholomew. And Baldrick, I think Baldrick will try to walk away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Walmer and Wilbrandt will fight the, these guys here. And I think that's all. Things are not looking good for uh, Brian, definitely. So let's uh, resolve a uh, fight. We have uh, 33 versus 10, so it is uh, mm, uh, 21. Sorry, 23. Uh, so it's 2029 uh, and no modifiers. It is, oh, 10 again. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I wanted to say, oh, how good. We got the lowest result possible, but no, in this game, this is highest result, higher result possible. Well, we hate it when we are attacking. So this is 2029 and zero and 10. This is nothing. So Robin is really, uh, tricky opponent. He's not very, uh, uh, I mean, uh, his, def his defense is not something impressive. His attack skill is not amazing when it comes to the horseman, but somehow he gets amazing die rolls. Oh, I think he's, it is, uh, like they say, the luck of the hero or something like that. Okay, so now, mm, next, uh, let's go here. We have uh, Walmar attacking Friar Tuck, 9 versus 4, so it's plus 5. 1, that was good. And uh, Friar is wounded. Wilbrand attack attacks Little John, he has 12 versus 4, so it's plus 8. And 9. This is nothing, so little John is fine. Okay, and now uh, Brian can get up 
although you can see he's not as strong as he was when he was on horse, but his horse is dead, we can actually remove this horse. Uh, it, it doesn't make much uh, when it's on board and it will make uh, some mess on the board so we can remove dead bodies and uh, dead horses etc from the board it is they make uh, little use well they look cool that's good that's right uh, but nothing else and we can go into the turn three yeah yeah we can go into turn three so now let's check uh, what can we do now First, of course, we have a Robin Hood uh, uh, turn and we have our missile combat. So, I will fire with Reynold at Martin. This is Scrap, and, but Scrap provides no, uh, no, prob no uh, obstruction. This is not a blocking terrain. Only woods or walls are blocking terrain. Scrap blocks no line of sight, so uh, I can fire at him. And I missed completely. I think he's too merry man. I mean, uh, I, uh, he probably drank something to be uh, more merrier and that's the reason he failed from the, such a close uh, distance. Maybe because this scrap uh, made him distract or something. I don't know. And now, next. Gilbert is firing at Rudolf. He, he hit, good. And now let's see the result three and we got plus two it's five because he's in armor so it's five he's wounded and he was already wounded so you are dead okay and now Falco and I think Falco cannot see anyone I'm not sure if he can see Arnold let me check I believe that Ivanhoe is blocking uh, his line of sight to Arnold Well, I believe, yes, it moves uh, through the hex with, uh, with, uh, with Ivanhoe here, so no, he cannot see uh, Falco, uh, he cannot see Arnold, mm, and uh, he cannot see anyone else because, well, uh, Aldrich is, uh, Aldrich is protect covered by Robin, and um, Brian is covered by Wilfred, so no, no uh, shooting for him. So this con uh, this concludes uh, missile fire phase, and now we can go into the movement phase. So Wilfred wants to attack uh, Brian. Go on, you <laughs> you corrupted Templar. Uh, I will get rid for you once and for all. He cries and charges on him on horse. Uh, yeah. If he would be a good good knight, he would probably have to dismount and fight uh, against each other uh, on the equal chances, but this is a game and we want to win. We don't care about this knightship and stuff. <laughs> Let's get rid of this uh, nasty uh, corrupted Templar who fell in love with, the, with Rebecca. And now, uh, who is going to do uh, the rest of the stuff? Well, my peasants. One, two, three, four, five. They will try to get rid of Arnold and to uh, open the way for Isaac and Rebecca while Will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He will try to help Robin because he can, he can see that these guys are trying to get Robin and Robin seems to be in troubles, so he wants to help the, help Robin. Okay, now they are going to fight. This uh, archer is going to help uh, little John. One, two, three, four, five because my uh, merry men are in pr troubles. You can see that both Friar Tuck and Little John are wounded. Well, things are not getting easier for them. And now these two archers. Well, I think they should change their positions because they can do very little here. here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and Gilbert one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and finally Garulf. And I, I forgot about him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's all. Yeah, that's all. So let's conclude. Uh, let's uh, resolve our attacks. I will start here. Wilfred, with the help of Gilbert, uh, definitely not in the knight, uh, knight's way. This is not a one versus one duel. Are attacking Brian. So this is nine versus twenty-nine. So it's thirty-eight versus ten. So it's twenty-eight. Uh, twenty-eight. And this is thirty thirty-nine plus one because there is two versus one. So it's so it's plus four t. And we have three versus plus four t. This is killed. So sorry, Brian, but you are dead. You paid with your life for your love for Rebecca. Okay. And now Robin and Will are attacking Bartholomew. They have 15 and 14, so it's 29 versus 14, so it's 15. So it's uh, 10, uh, 19, and plus 1, because 2 versus 1. So it's 20, 29, and 6. He is stunned, so he falls from his horse. I, I, I need to find a Bartholomew marker now. Uh, where he is? Come on, Bartholomew, where are you? Okay, I found him, so his horse is fine, and he's, fa uh, f he's falling from this, his horse and he's stunned. So he's still alive, but he's stunned. And now, who's going to attack next? Here, these three guys are attacking Arnold. So we have 8, 12, and 18 versus 6. So it's 12 and plus 1, because 2 versus uh, 3, uh, uh, because of more than two, uh, sorry, more than one versus one. And uh, he fights in the door, so he got plus one. So uh, it was uh, again 12, 18 versus six, so it's 12. So it's 10, 19 plus one because of the numerical, num uh, numerical advantage and minus one because of the door. So it's 10, 19 and one. Killed. Oh, definitely uh, Brian's men are not lucky in this battle. He is dead. Oy vey! cries Isaac, uh, seeing the guard of uh, uh, their uh, prison being killed. But he sees this as opportunity uh, for him and his daughter to run away. Okay, and now here. I believe they all three try to attack Wilbrand. So we have 7, 12, and 16 versus 7. 16 versus 7 is 9, so it's 5, 9, and plus 1. So it's 10, 19. Oh, 9, no, res no effect. Okay, so that's all for this uh, battle, as for Robin's men, and now Brian's uh, troops. Well, Brian is dead already. <laughs> and uh, his men are not in a very good condition as well. So, what can they do? First of all, we have a missile phase, so uh, Baldrick will try to hit Garulf. Four, he hit, and now let's see how good. Oh, nine, we got minus two because of the crossbow, so it's seven. So it's R2, Garulf is retreating to hexes. Nothing serious. And that's all when it comes to the missile combat because other crossbowman is dead. So now uh, our leg units. Ooh, not many of them remain actually. Uh, Martin still protects this window, but I am not sure he should 
but if he will leave, that probably Rebecca will try to get out of this window. So, well, but from the other hand, they might already run away through the open door. So, no, not, not, none of these options uh, are, sat are good for him. So he will try to uh, cover this window anyway. And now Volmar will try to fight with Friar Tuck. Wilbrandt will try to fight Little John, hoping that they will be able to get, get rid of them and join the fray here. Okay, Aldrich. Aldrich, Aldrich sees that his uh, fellow horseman Bartholomew is stunned, so he wants to attack uh, Robin to, uh, to give uh, Bartholomew enough time to rise. Okay, so Aldrich at attacks Robin. We have 12 versus 10, so it's plus two, so it's uh, zero to four versus mounted unit and six this is nothing next volmer attacks friar attack nine versus two so it's plus seven and three friar is stunned but he was wounded and this means that he's dead now wilbrand 12 versus four is eight and six in the 5-9, it is R1, so he drives Little John away. But I believe that's all. Uh, Brian's men are definitely losing this battle. Now Bartholomew can rise, he's regaining his senses somehow, but that's all for this turn. Yes, that's all for this turn. So. Let's carry on with turn 4. You can see we have already turn 4 and uh, the battle seems to be, well, decided. Well, maybe not 100% sure, but uh, pretty close. Because uh, Ivan, uh, Ivanhoe and Robin uh, have advantage, definitely. So, we are starting with Missile Phase and now Falco is firing at Aldrich. He missed. Hmm. Completely. Now, Gilbert cannot see anyone, I believe. Oh, no, he can see Walmar. Walmar. I mean, there is straight lane, a line, I believe, but, hmm, well, not sure. No, Will uh, seems to be blocking his line of sight. I will check to make sure. Uh, yes, this uh, line crosses this hex, so no, uh, he cannot uh, fire at him. And this horse is still alive. If he, this ho uh, well, no, uh, Ivanhoe is here, so he cannot fire through the Ivanhoe. So no, he cannot see anyone. So that's all. And now Reynold. Reynold can fire at Martin. He missed. <laughs> what a poor archers they are, really. <laughs> well, they are Robin Hood men. They should be elite archers and they are failing after uh, completely. Okay, and the, fa the last archer is here. He cannot fire anywhere because he's, he has three hexes over here. So that's all for the missile combat and let's go to the movement. Mm. Now, Garulf, one, two, three, four, and this is Anvil, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry, he has only four because he was wounded. So no, he cannot enter here. He can only move one. One, two, three, like that. And one, two, three, four, five. So they will go here. And now Isaac and Rebecca. One, two, three, four. Go on, my daughter. We are running away. One, two, three, four. They will, they, 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 they hope uh, th uh, that they will run to the safety. 
While in the meantime, Ivanhoe, one, two, three, four, five. Hi, Rebecca, I came to help you. Oh, that's great, uh, Sir Wilfred. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. You, toe fool, you are already dead. <laughs> now, uh, Will is going to move like that and attack Bartholomew and I think my archers uh, well they are not doing very good job as archers so let them join uh, the combat in the normal way one two three four five six I hope they will do better job when they are fighting on leg and now Reynold he will attack here while uh, Alvin will go here okay so that's all yeah that's all let's go and resolve all these attacks Robin and Falco they have 22 versus 8 uh, 22 versus 8 it's um, 14 so it's uh, 10 and 19 and plus 1 because 2 versus 1 uh, so it's 20 29 and 2 he's killed sorry Aldrich you fought bravely but you are dead <coughs> now Will and Gilbert they have 23 versus 7 so it's 16 and again, this is plus one because uh, of the two versus one. So it's 20, 29. Wow, he's also dead. You can tell that Robin's, uh, Robin's men have a good luck with uh, die rolling uh, today. Let me find Bartholomew dead counter or he's already no, this is his full full strength uh, counter. Okay, he is dead for good. And now here, uh, Garulf attacks Baldric six versus six, so it's zero and two. Another lucky roll. He's stunned. Now, they, they, uh, these three guys are attacking Walmart, so they have 8, 12, and 19 versus 6, so it's plus 13, so it's 10, 19, plus 1, it's 20, 29, and 4, he's wounded. So, Walmart is wounded, and they have 13 versus 7, so it's 6. So it's 5 9 plus 1 is 10 19, and 2 in the 10 19, he is wounded also. So it looks like these uh, Brian's men are uh, literally slaughtered. And finally, Ivanhoe attacks Martin, who uh, guarded uh, uh, Rebecca. So he has a good, uh, good choice to, uh, good reason to fight him. 29 versus 6, so it's 23, so it's 20, 29, 3, he is wounded. Okay, so the remaining uh, Brian's men, they are all wounded. Oh, 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 looks like they are going to be slaughtered in no time. And none of them can fire because only one, only, only uh, this guy can fire and he's stunned. And the remaining guys are overrun by uh, Robin Hood's merry men. They are they they aren't lucky. So I think that he will fight, uh, try to fight uh, Little John, and he will try to fight uh, Simon. And Martin, 
he is wounded, so he has only movement of four. So he cannot even reach Rebecca and Isaac and try to kill Isaac, because killing Isaac would at last give uh, Brian's men a draw. But, uh, well, uh, none of them can reach uh, Isaac and his daughter, so that's bad. Well, one, two, three, four. That's all I can do now. And, well, uh, six versus four, so it's plus two. Not a, not a bad roll. So little John is stunned and he was wounded, so he's dead. And now five versus three, so it's plus two. Nope. This is eight, so this is nothing. So that's all for Brian's men. And <coughs> this guy is back to normal. All the other guys who are lying on the, on the earth are going to lay there permanently because they are already dead. So now we have uh, uh, Ivanhoe and Robin's uh, movement. I mean, we have a com uh, we have a, a missile phase, but I think that uh, no none of the Sh uh, Brian's men are in the fire uh, range. I mean, Alvin cannot fire at Walmart because they are on the adjacent hexes. And uh, same goes to Reynolds. He cannot fire here because they are on the adjacent hexes. Uh, Falco and Gilbert have no targets in their line of sight. So we are moving. In, we are going into the movement phase. So Isaac and Rebecca are running away. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They are going to leave the board in the next turn. So that's good. And now uh, we have to get rid of the remaining of the Brian's men. So uh, Wilfred is attacking Martin. There is not much for him to do. And now they. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Simon, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Will will protect uh, protect Rebecca and uh, Isaac to make sure they will run away into safety. And Robin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, he will help Ivanhoe to get rid of Martin. Okay, so that's all when it comes to the movement. And now let's go to the combat. We have uh, 29 plus 10, it is uh, 39, and plus 5, it's uh, 43, so it's plus 40. And 7, he's wounded, so he's dead. Now here, eight, seven, and seven. So it's 22 versus three. So it's uh, 20, uh, 22 versus three. So it's 10, 19. Plus one is 20, 29, and 10. He's still alive. That's a lucky bastard. <laughs> and now Reynolds is fighting against uh, Walbrand. Eight versus four, so it's plus four. Wow, Reynolds is wounded. Let me find his wounded marker. This uh, Walbrand seems to be the best fighter of the uh, Brian's men. He managed to get rid of many. Uh, of, uh, I mean, uh, he killed Little John. So he's definitely a skilled fighter. And now Garulf fights Baldrick. This is zero. And no, 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 this is seven. Nothing happened. Okay, so we have a, a Brian's man turn. And well, Wilbrand and Baldrick are only, oh no, and Walmer 
are the only men alive. So Baldry cannot fire because he has an uh, enemy soldier on the adjacent hex and uh, Wilbrandt will uh, try to attack Reynold and Walmar will try to attack Falco. So five versus four, so it's plus one. Five with plus one, nothing. Seven versus four, so it's plus three. And two, he's stunned. And six versus three, seven, nothing. So this concludes uh, Brian's man turn, and we are moving into the last, uh, to the next turn. And now you can tell that both Isaac and Rebecca are leaving the board, so they are safe. So the game ends with Robin and Robins and Ivan's Ho, uh, Ivan Ho's uh, victory. So that's the interesting case because I made a video about this game before in Polish and it ended with a completely different result with Robin and Ivanho being killed almost at the beginning of the battle and their men being literally slaughtered. And Rebecca tried to, to, uh, tried to get away with uh, Isaac but she was captured by uh, Brian. So the battle was completely different there then and now it was... Uh, definitely different result today. So that's interesting and that's what I like the, in this uh, game. I mean, uh, I uh, played this uh, game uh, since a while and I found that the same uh, scenarios might go on completely uh, in the completely different way. That's good because you can tell that in some war games uh, s uh, some scenarios are seems like uh, going the same, uh, mostly at the beginning of the game. Uh, later they can uh, go in a diff different way, but at the beginning of the game they are often, they are quite often uh, seems like being somehow programmed. And in this game, each battle can go in a completely different way, and that's what I like. So this concludes this video. I think I might do something more about uh, Sherwood because first of all I, I like this game and that's the uh, most important case uh, but I think this is uh, there is only one more thing I would like to show you I, uh, these are ambush rules I, ca I have no uh, had no opportunity to show you them and the next scenario is mostly about ambush so I think I will show you them in the next video if I will make it well, I don't know, we will see, time will tell. That's all for today, thank you for watching and see you next time.